Welcome to Wandering in the Wilderness in the Word with Pastor Phil from Lakeland Church in Carbondale. What a great day we have before us, and what a great word we have given to us by God to help us through these days. The text we're reading today is Psalms chapter 6, chapters 8 through 10, chapter 14, chapter 16, chapter 19, and chapter 21. These are psalms that are tried to be put in the chronological order in which David is going through life. So these are the psalms he written in these times. I've entitled this devotion, He Hears the Cries of His Chosen One, Psalm 6, 1 through 10. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I'm faint. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are in agony. My soul's in anguish. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. No one remembers you when he's dead. Who praises you from the grave? I'm worn out with groaning. All night long I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. They fail because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil, for the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and dismayed. They'll turn back in sudden disgrace. I've prayed and prayed and prayed, but God's not answered. Has this ever been what you thought when you prayed about something that never played out the way you thought it should? Think of this psalmist as he cries out to God. What were the circumstances as he continued to cry out to God? Let's list them if we can. I'm faint. My bones are in agony. My soul is in anguish. I'm worn out from groaning. I flood my bed with weeping, and my couch is drenched in tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. This is the case of the psalmist when he prays. What's to keep him from giving up, from throwing in a towel, or walking away, thinking God's dead or doesn't care? This psalmist knows something that many who cry out to God do not. He, why does he stay the course? Why is he so committed to God, even if his circumstances do not improve? Are you ready for it? Sit up straight. The answer's coming. It's on its way. Here it comes. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. Hold on to everything. Stop the presses. If the Lord has heard your cry and this is what you get, what do you mean he's listened to your cry? If this is how God answers your prayer, please let me have another God. Who are you, old man, to think that God does not know what he's doing in answering your prayers? Do you know more than God? Are you wiser and more magnificent than he? Do you want more for you than God does? Do you now understand? Can you see the light more now? Is the picture getting clearer? God has heard your prayer and is working things out for your good and his glory according to what you most want. Oh, dear child of God. He has heard your prayers, and right now is answering them in such a way that you'll see more of his glory, experience more of his joy than you can possibly imagine if you should just stay the course. God, help me believe in what the psalmist does. Know that you have heard my cry for mercy, and you accept my prayers. Amen.